We begin this hour 18 with breaking news. The city of Chicago taking hard action against anyone who travels to states seeing COVID-19 spikes. CBS2 political investigator Dana Kosloff is live at City Hall with the mayor's announcement late this afternoon. Dana. Yeah, Erica, it is an unprecedented announcement for Chicago, and it's not just about restricting travel. The mayor is now issuing an order that anybody who is entering Chicago from 15 specific states experiencing a COVID-19 case surge must quarantine for 14 days, and that goes into effect at 12.01 a.m. on Monday. Now, the mayor made this announcement via tweet just about an hour or so ago. It reads in part to preserve the gains Chicago has made. We're issuing an emergency travel order directing travelers entering or returning to Chicago from states experiencing a surge to quarantine. Those states are Alabama, Arkansas, Arizona, California, Florida, Georgia, Idaho, Louisiana, Mississippi, North Carolina, South Carolina, Tennessee, Texas, and Utah. Now, to give some perspective, Florida records more than 10,000 new COVID-19 cases over the past 24 hours. And despite that surge there, Florida's governor has not imposed a statewide mask order. Now, this order, Mayor Lori Lightfoot's quarantine order, does not apply to essential workers or people passing through Chicago, for instance, those who are making a connecting flight at O'Hare or Midway or those who are driving through the city. It also does not apply to people traveling for medical care or for shared parental custody. But again, this 14-day quarantine, Erica, goes into effect at 12.01 a.m. July 6th. Erica? Okay, so Dana, does the order talk about how this will be enforced. Will they be looking into people or is it the honor system? You know, that has not been directly addressed and, and because she made this announcement after she had a news conference on another matter a few hours ago, we weren't able to ask her those questions. So enforcement is unclear. That could be very tricky, especially for people traveling by car. But she did state that violators could be subjected to fines from $100 to $700 a day up to $7,000. Erica. All right. Political investigator Dana Kosloff, thank you.